Hi, I'm Joe Walder, and this is Joe Walder Teaches a Thing. In this video series, part one and part two, I'm going to show you how to create a digital binder using Google Docs. Um, so let's hop into it. We're going to start off with a few minutes of uh, history and where we're trying to go. This is where we're trying to go. We'll come back to this here in a second, but let's talk about the history here. Way back when, when you installed Microsoft Office on a computer, you got a tool called OneNote, and that's what this is. This is just the online version through OneDrive or Office 365. Um, what it is, is basically a, a digital version of the five subject big ringed binders that we used to have for college or class. Um, so the basic idea is, is that you have different sections here, over here on the left hand side, and each section had different pages, and you could type up your notes and all that kind of stuff. This is one thing Microsoft OneDrive or Office 365 has over Google. Google had something like this. Originally it was called Google Wave and then it got changed to Google Notebook and then they killed it off back in 2014. So what we've got here is we have a problem. We need to have something like this for Google Drive or Google Suite for Education. Now, someone sent me on Facebook, a friend, colleague, sent me this video from Kirsten Perks where she created a digital binder using Google Slides. It's okay. Um, the downside of using Google Slides is when you add a bunch of pictures, when you add a bunch of text, when you add a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, it tends to slow down. So we got, I started playing around with this. I tried to make it in Google Slides and it just got worse and worse and worse. And I wasn't a big fan, especially since I teach high school. I need my students to be able to add a lot and move quickly without slowing down. Okay. So I'll link to both um, videos from Kirsten. Um, hopefully she has these uh, shared out publicly and you can check them out on your own time. Okay. But like I said earlier, this is where we're trying to go on a Google doc. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in this first video to add our cover and add these little tabs over here on the, on the side, um, using Google drawings and we can just pop that in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, um, I created a folder in Google docs or Google drive here, and I'm going to just start with a new um, Google Docs. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, um, template V2. Now I'm going to make this a template because I want my students, I'm going to send this out through Google uh, classroom so that it signs to them and they can work on it and they always have it handy. Um, the first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go ahead and go to insert table and I'm going to do a two by one. So two columns, one row. And then inside this first column, I'm going to go ahead and insert drawing new. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape, more of a re vertical rectangle and I'm going to customize it really quickly. I'm not going to get too crazy on it. Uh, gradient, we'll do, eh, we'll do that one. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, another square. Okay, like that. If I hold down the shift key, something like that. But I'm going to change this to white. And then I'm going to double click. And when, I, when you double click in Google Drawings on a shape, you can type in it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set my formatting options. So I click on the three dots over there on the right hand side. I'm going to center everything up. Um, centered, centered, centered. We're going to kick the size up to, yeah, we'll do 36. Eh, maybe we'll drop it down to 30 actually. So okay, cool. And again, you can have fun with it. Your students can end up having fun with it. You just got to show them how to, to edit. So I'm going to hit save and close. Okay. And then um, I'm going to adjust my tabs section. So this other cell is going to be our tabs. Okay. Um, so I adjusted the vertical line there over a little bit. You can adjust it as much as you want, but I'm basically going to repeat the process. So I'm going to go to insert drawing new wait for it to load shapes square. I'm going to hold on the shift key. Actually, we're going to make it a little bit more of a rectangle like that. Um, gradient. And 
I'll just kind of start from the beginning here. So I'm going to double click inside, set up my formatting options. Okay. This up to, let's say 24. Table of contents. Okay. Save and close. Okay. Now check this out. Do I have to redraw every time? No. So I'm going to click on this image here. I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard, right arrow on the keyboard. So it goes off the image and I'm going to press enter. So I go below and hit control V. So I paste in, wait for it to load, double click on the picture. So now this is how you go back and edit in, um, Google drawings. So I'll make this do now save and close. Right arrow again, enter, control V, paste in, double click, click on this, image colors, double click or hit control A, class notes, boom, right arrow again, press enter, control V, double click on that image, and we'll go ahead and set this up for this last one. And then we'll call this one projects. Okay, save and close. Okay, so now, again, how you design this is up to you. Just remember, you're gonna be sharing this out with your students. Um, and we can adjust the sizes of things. Say about that big, maybe that'll work. One thing I, I like to do is to click somewhere off here in the white area and the margins here inside of the table. I'm going to format, table, table properties, and I'm going to set the table border to zero and hit OK. And that way I get rid of my border. Now, does it look as pretty as Kirsten's? No. Okay. And that's just because we're using tables instead of um, Google Slides. Google Slides, you can make everything line up and be pretty and that kind of thing. But I think this works for us. Um, so what we're going to do is um, what we're going to do, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to stop the video. Um, go ahead and work on this. And then on the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your pages. And I'm going to show you how to link to those pages and give you some information of where you can help your students organize their notes and that kind of thing. So hang tight, join us on the next video, and we'll finish this project up.